Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for the Williamson and Franklin County Virtual Job Fair. Today, we will be hearing from nine employers hiring for various positions across multiple industries. Each employer will speak for five minutes to give you some information about their company and will highlight the job openings they currently have. If you have questions at any time, please type them into the chat and we will address them during the Q&A session that will be taking place after all employers have presented. Today's session is being recorded and will be made available in the employer booths for you to refer to later. Now I am pleased to introduce Julie with ASIN Manufacturing. Julie? Good morning, my name is Julie Overby. I am a human resource specialist for ISIN Manufacturing. However, I do recruit for all three plants currently, which includes ISIN Manufacturing, light metals, and also electronics. Working at ISIN here um, in Southern Illinois, it's one of our largest employers in the area, um, starting with those that come in entry-level positions and who are looking for a career path and just not a job. Next slide. <laughs> Um, what we what we do is we bring those in usually typically if you don't have a skilled trade such as engineering um, or preventative maintenance you would come in on assembly from assembly we like to cross train a couple across a couple different lines cross training is also based on fine motor skills um, eye hand coordination and also those who are willing to have the drive to succeed and gain knowledge we do like to cross train across multiple plants, allowing you the opportunity, um, not only for lateral growth, but also you can grow up the hierarchy within the organization. Promotional opportunities here, as you can see for team members is on average at 78%. These numbers are from 2020, which are last year, of course. Um, now, when you're looking at this, team members are those that would come in on assembly, on a line, maintenance, a honcho, that is Japanese for manager, shokacho is supervisor. So you can still see all the way up the ladder, there's still opportunity to move within the organization. We also offer other opportunities. Continuous learning is definitely a benefit. We offer classes to learn Japanese. Of course, we are a Japanese held organization. Um, we do have um, a current group of employees who are going through our ISIN University. They're learning Japanese and other skills needed to be able to go overseas and work with our counterparts in order to bring consistency across both worlds. There's the view of some of our ISIN Technology Academies. Um, the one, of course, in the bottom left is in Japan. Top right is in Seymour, Indiana. And then over to the left, to the right on the bottom corner, that's a scenic view actually of Southern Illinois. We do offer tuition reimbursement. We base it upon the federal guidelines. Currently it's $5,500 per year. Um, we encourage all of our employees to go to learn a skill or trade they can bring back to us. As an example, we have a current member of our HR team that started out on assembly um, she actually worked in the sensor division in electronics. She went back to school using our tuition reimbursement program and after two years graduated, and then she was promoted into our HR department. She's now an HR specialist. We also have engineering students currently. Um, one of them actually graduated from high school, went into engineering at SIU, and is scheduled to graduate this the end of this month. Icin University is considered kind of our, our local schooling that's held within our organization. You can get course certificates based on preventative maintenance. You can also become part of our three pillar organization. We also do lean manufacturing and we also do seven tools of quality circle certificates. When it comes to being a part of the community here in Southern Illinois, we are definitely socially responsible. We practice lean manufacturing. We um, are one of the only organizations in the area that have zero waste. We recycle as much as we can. 
anything that's not recyclable is actually shipped off to a different place. It's incinerated, made into fertilizer, and then it's put back into the soil. So we have zero waste. This is just going to a little bit about how we, um, our recycling programs that we currently utilize. When it comes to protecting our customers, we are um, we're 100% quality guaranteed to ship what's expected. We're also an on-demand producer, which means we don't ship in excess. We ship exactly what's ordered and sent on time. Eisen has current scholarship programs. Um, any ISIN employee's child is eligible to participate in our scholarship program. Um, we also um, give $500 a year. The application process is done within each plant and it's submitted to the HR department. Here at ISIN, there's definitely job stability with all of our cross training, tuition reimbursement, and ISIN University, the sky's the limit. We do offer competitive pay raises. Coming in as an hourly associate, you're guaranteed a raise every six months until you reach the three-year mark. At the three-year mark, then you top out and you'll receive an annual increase. On top of compensation, we are back to business as usual and you are also entitled to a monthly bonus. Bonus is based on your gross wages and the overall performance, production, and sales of the plant that you work in. Looking at starting wages, coming in as an hourly team member on the assembly floor, they currently come in at $12.80 on first shift. For second shift, and some plants even have a third shift, there is a bit of a pay differential. Um, but as you can see on here, every six months there is an increase till you top out at the five-year mark. Now, please keep in mind when you're looking at this, this is based on 2021. Come 2022, those amounts could increase as well, but they will never decrease. Benefits here are top notch. We offer two different medical plans. We also offer an employer play dental and vision plan, but you can choose a buy-up plan as well. We, we have a 401k with a 100% match dollar per dollar up to 3%, a 50% match when you hit that 4% mark, of course, so we're topping out on that. Um, and then once again, we do do our monthly bonuses. It can be up to 12%. That 12% is of your gross wages. That's a potential for a few extra hundred dollars a month just for coming to work. Throughout the year, we also do incentives um, to help boost employer morale. We celebrate birthdays, adult enrichment programs. Adult enrichment are those things that bring you joy. You get $50 a year. That could potentially be concert tickets, baseball tickets, whatever you choose we're gonna help support that work-life balance. We also do a perfect attendance award. It's $50 a quarter, $200 a first year. After the second year, if you still have perfect attendance, it goes up to $300 and gradually increases to a maximum payout of $500. ISIN also offers as part of their benefit package, their own wellness clinic. At Ison Electronics Plant, they do have a clinic within the plant. It is open on Tuesdays. Um, I believe it's 9 a.m. to noon. And then we actually have a physical standing building in front of the Williamson County Airport. As long as you participate in one of our medical plans, you can go to the Ison Medical Clinic. The clinic offers assessments and medications for zero cost. No co-pays, no out-of-pocket. They even offer the opportunity to purchase over-the-counter medications for absolutely free. And you can see on here potential cost savings for an individual is almost $2,000 a year just by utilizing the clinic.
We also offer other opportunities to save throughout the year. They're advertised throughout all the plants. We offer Holiday World tickets, discounts on your wireless service, local hotels, restaurants, even pet wellness. You get savings for your pooch. We also offer a new vehicle purchase program where you get discounts on GM, Ford, Subaru, Nissan, and Dahmer Chrysler, which are all customers of Ison. We also offer several different types of personal growth opportunities. We offer lateral moves. We advertise all opportunities within the plants first for bid. After seven days, those go out to the public. Those seeking cross training in other areas are always um, open to apply to those. We also offer new um, production lines planned for the next several years. Overtime work, of course. Um, overtime here is not considered mandatory. We do take volunteers first. Um, you can also work overtime in various other departments to gain experience. You can once again get college courses and tuition reimbursement um, right here and be paid for through ISON. Thank you. All right, thank you very much for your presentation, Julie. Up next will be Concentrix. Uh, Tamara Thomas, are you available to present? Uh, yes, I am, David. Excellent. You can begin whenever you're ready. Uh, Tamara, I believe you're on mute. Do you have the whole presentation? Uh, yes, let me go to the next slide. Here we go. Okay, this one isn't mine. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. Um, let me double check something on my end. Do you mind if we circle back to you, Tamara, for? Yeah, no problem. Okay, great, sorry about that. Um, so in that case, uh, we'll come back to Concentrix, but uh, Jessica Conaway with Continental Tire, are you available to present? Yes, I am here. Um, good morning, everyone. My name is Jessica Conaway. I am an HR business partner here at Continental in Mount Vernon. Um, we are very excited that we are celebrating 47 years in Mount Vernon and um, 150 years globally. Um, so if you want to skip two slides ahead, um, you can see in our map here, our original plant is in the red box there. We started in 1974 with General Tire um, in 1988. Uh, the joint venture truck tire plant opened, and then you can see throughout the years, uh, lots of expansions have occurred in the yellow boxes, which we um, expect to continue. And there's some data up top if you'll click through. Um, we have 22 mixing machines um, in our uh, mixing department, which produces over 5 million pounds of rubber a day, which translates to over 3 million truck tires and over 10 million uh, passenger tires annually and 98,000 rolls of pre-cured tread annually, which are used to retread uh, semi-truck tires. So on the next slide, you can see uh, we've had lots of growth in employees over the last several years, you know, um, increasing over a thousand employees in the last 15 years. Um, and we expect that to continue to rise. This is just continental specific employees. Um, when you factor in contractors and vendors and everybody else that comes in and out of the plant, we support you know, well over 4,500 employees in the um, region. So definitely um, a big support to Southern Illinois and uh, we hope to continue to keep growing and supporting the area. So one of the opportunities that I have to discuss is the Maintenance Technician Apprentice Program. Uh, this is a new program we are starting in partnership with ICAT. So if you are somebody that has finished high school, um, is interested in uh, mechanics, electronics, that kind of thing, um, you can participate in this program. It's a three-year program. You spend two days per week on campus learning um, in classroom style and then three days a week in the plant working for us while also doing hands-on lab type work. Um, so when you are finished with that three-year program, you graduate with an associate's degree, an ICAT certificate, and a DOL certificate. 
and have the potential to come on board as one of our maintenance technicians or electricians at our starting rate of $28.50 an hour. So if that's something you're interested in, you can go to that website, icatapprenticeships.com for more information and to apply for that. Uh, next, we have some uh, several hourly production positions available. Um, if you go to our website to apply, you'll just see one requisition that says hourly production. Uh, rather than post every single position, um, we just put it all under one. So you do have to have a high school diploma or a GED. Excellent attendance and work ethic is the most important thing, as well as the ability to work nights and weekends. Um, most of our employees do start on the night shift on the weekends um, if they are working in what we call plant one. Uh, plant four has a slightly different structure, but also weekends are required there. So our starting pay uh, ranges between 1823 and 2066 an hour, depending on the position. And you do have a full benefits package that starts on day one. Um, next, we have uh, several other opportunities, uh, what we consider our salaried positions. Lots of different positions out there. There are supervisors, process engineering techs, inspectors, setup technicians, sequencers that schedule all of uh, the products through the plant. So those are all posted individually on our website. And those salaries range somewhere between 36 to 42,000 annually to start plus overtime for most of those positions. Um, so to talk about our benefits a little bit, we do have what we feel are very competitive wages, lots of opportunity for advancement in travel. Um, we have four different medical plans, dental and vision plans that you can choose from, and all of those start on day one of employment. We do have, you know, life insurance, a wonderful 401k with um, dollar for dollar match up to 6% paid holidays, paid time off. As soon as you start, we have a free gym on site, uh, quarterly and annual bonuses, tuition assistance, which we'll talk about. And our tire discount is a really big benefit that people um, really enjoy up to 12 tires a year at a, at a highly discounted rate. So part of our uh, continuing education benefit is Conti University. Um, through Ren Lake and Continental, you can um, obtain an Associates of Arts and Sciences. It's actually changed a little bit since this slide. So it's a dual uh, degree, and it's something that you do in three years. So on the next slide, we offer um, on-site placement testing. Right now, a lot of it is done virtually because of the pandemic, but typically it is on-site. We do advisement by regist and registration by phone or on site, and they will individualize your advisement. So if the program that we have is not the exact degree that you want, they will work with you and you can take some of the classes that you need through us, some through the college directly and get exactly what you need uh, for what you're looking for. So we do offer the classes on site at a significantly discounted rate of only $25 per class. So you're basically only paying the book rental fee and Continental is picking up the tab for all of the tuition, lab fees, all of that kind of stuff. So um, you can complete your associate's degree for only $225, which is definitely significant savings. Um, let's see, and we can skip the next slide and go to the education assistance. So this is our tuition reimbursement program. If you already have your associates or you're going for a bachelor's or master's, you can, um, you know, pay for that up front, apply for reimbursement from Continental. Uh, there is a uh, time commitment afterwards of, of 24 months with the Conti University Associates degree. There is no time commitment. Um, and that one is also um, available for your dependents, the, the Associates degree. I, I neglected to mention that. Um, a few general expectations uh, and policies for all of the employees that we like everyone to know about. We do have a probationary period of the first six months. Performance and attendance are, are routinely evaluated. Attendance is extremely important. We can't produce if you are not here. So we do have a point system and um, really, really focus on making sure everyone is coming to work regularly. Um, we do have a drug-free workplace policy and the ability to work safely is um, paramount to everything. If we can't work safely, then, then that's bad for everyone involved. So if um, this is something that you're interested, you can go to continental-jobs.com, filter our location to Mount Vernon and submit your application and we can start the process. And I think that's everything on my end. 
All right, thank you very much for your presentation, Jessica. At uh, this time, uh, we'll go back to a video for um, Concentrics here. And I believe I'll have to do a new share just to make sure that we can hear the audio. So bear with me one moment here. Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Tamara, and I'd like to extend a huge welcome to Concentrix. So who are we? We're a global leader in customer experience, services, and technologies. We focus on customer engagements and partner with all of our clients to improve customer experience. Here are just a few stats about us. We have over 250,000 employees spread over 125 locations in six continents. We are the top five in the global business services industry and a fantastic place to work. We provide positions in many industries, some of which are automotive, banking and financial, consumer electronics, government and public sector, healthcare, insurance, media and communications, retail and e-commerce, technology, and the travel and transportation industry. So let's get to the good stuff and talk about our positions. While we have many positions across many locations, today I'm talking about work at home customer service advisor positions. As I mentioned earlier, we have many client programs in different industries that we hire for. Our positions involve customer service through inbound, outbound, and sometimes even chat. Often it requires assisting customers with technical issues, troubleshooting, website navigation, and product purchases. Our training is paid. Yes, paid training. However, perfect attendance during training is mandatory. During the application process, you will have what is called a verbal offer session, and this is where you find out all the details about the position, including the client name, training start dates, training hours, pay rate, all of that good stuff. So what are we looking for? Our ideal applicant is someone who is passionate about providing world-class customer service and has a background in customer service or a call center environment, someone with strong written and verbal communication skills, and empathy. While our excellent trainers will teach you everything you need to know about the job, you do need to have some technical aptitude, basic computer knowledge, and ability to multitask through various screens and programs while speaking to our customers. So what do we offer? Well, because we have so many clients, our salary and position type is going to vary as well as the hours of operation. We do offer full and part-time positions and require open availability to accommodate the client hours of operations. Our regular positions have great benefit options, paid time off, and 401k plan. Working from home. Anyone who has ever worked from home before knows the many perks. No more worrying about transportation costs, the commute, shoveling the snow off of your car depending on your location, packing lunches, wardrobe costs, the list goes on. There really is no better feeling than wearing your cozy slippers at work all day. Now, this does come with some responsibility, such as being able to provide a noise and distraction-free environment. Equipment requirements. Again, this will vary by client because some of our programs provide equipment while others do not. We do require minimum internet speeds and sometimes even additional hardware requirements. We also require an approved headset and also a smartphone for duo security purposes. So you want to work from home for a great company? Fantastic! How do you apply? You go to the Concentrix career page and submit your application. I will also provide a direct link for Illinois in the chat box. Once you submit your application, we will review it and send you some initial assessments to complete. Once those have been completed and passed, we will invite you to a verbal offer session. If you accept the position, you will be sent details on how to move forward and submit your requirements. 
If you have any questions, you can feel free to contact me directly, or you will notice on our career website that during the hours of 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. Eastern, Monday through Friday, we have live agents that can help you with any of your application questions. We hope to hear from you soon. Thank you for joining our session. All right, thank you, Tamara, for providing that video for Concentrix. Up next, we will have Higher Level present. Uh, Nicole, are you able to present? Hi, everyone. I am Nicole Morrison, Senior Recruiting Consultant for Higher Level. So who is Higher Level? We're a human capital management group. We've been in business for over 25 years. We've helped candidates discover and grow their careers by inventing a truly individualized approach to the job hunt. Your success story starts here. We like to do a high five campaign for our outstanding employees every month. Uh, those that stand out and do great work, they're self-motivated, they're passionate, they're a team player, reliable and exemplary performance. We like to give them a high five. Do you know someone who's looking for a job? If you're first someone to higher level, you are automatically entered to win our monthly giveaway. When they are hired and work at least 30 days and you're in good standing, we will send you a $50 gift card to say thank you. Ways to stay connected with us, Facebook, Twitter, Indeed, search higher level and look for high. Some of the jobs that we have available right now is a material handler in Mount Vernon, paying 12 plus dollars an hour based on shifts. Previous work-related experience is beneficial. Another position that we are doing is an automotive manufacturing associate. All shifts opportunities are available. Previous work experience is beneficial. We also have welding positions in our area paying 15 plus an hour. They're Monday through Friday positions, 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. The client provides cutting tables, sandblasting, and tile training. We also have many direct support personnel positions based in Marion, West Frankfurt, Heron, Benton, and Murfreesboro. Most of these positions are now paying $12 an hour. They recently did a pay increase last week. What you need to have is a valid driver's license, open availability, and be able to pass a FBOP background clearance. Candidates currently working receive flexible work, work hours, overtime opportunities, and holiday pay. We also have some temperature screeners that we are in need of for the Murfreesboro and Carbondale locations. These are a Monday through Friday position, eight to five, providing a welcoming and professional experience to patients and assist checking patients into the buildings. We go above and beyond the candidate experience. Get noticed by the right people, simplify the job search process, personalized experience and support. Be sure to check in with us every Tuesday and Thursday for updated career opportunities. Payday, your way. We have two options for you to receive your paycheck, direct deposit or pay card. Let us know which option works best for you. All right, thank you very much, Nicole, for your presentation. Um, up next, we will have Uh, priority staffing groups. So, uh, Megan, are you available to present for priority staffing? I am. Good morning. 
I just wanted to talk about Priority Staffing Group and why you should apply for a position with us today. At Priority Staffing, we work with our applicants to find jobs that align closely with their skill sets by thoroughly reviewing their resumes and testing our candidates to ensure that they are a perfect fit. If you'd like to apply, you can go to prioritystaffinggroup.com, select find jobs, and then Marion, Illinois. You can click on any job on the list to apply or view what the job actually pertains to and click create an, an account in the top right corner. Or you can email your resume to info at prioritystaffinggroup.com. We have over 120 job openings and there's some common mis misconceptions about using a staffing agency. One of those is that we charge for our services. We do not. There's no charge for applicants to use our service. The next one is that we only hire temps. Actually, most of our jobs are temp to perm, meaning that after 90 days you go permanent with the, with the company that you have been working for. And lastly, staffing agencies have no professional positions. In all reality, we actually do have salary, direct hired, and professional positions. The types of work that we have are industrial. So those would be factory positions, welding, mechanics, CDL drivers, and equipment operators. We have office bookkeeping, accounting, medical office assistance, marketing, admin assistance. We also have positions in the healthcare field, which would be CNAs, DSPs, janitorial, uh, night auditors, et cetera. So what are the steps after you apply for a position? You apply and we contact you to set up an appointment. You come in for an interview. You would then possibly interview with the client or you could be hired automatically without an interview. And then within the first week, the following week, you get an actual paycheck and we do pay weekly. If you would like to contact us for more information, you can contact Emily Melvin. And her email address is emily at prioritystaffinggroup.com or you can call and talk to any of our account managers at 618-969-8800. All right, thank you very much, Megan, for your presentation. Up next, we have Southern Illinois Healthcare. And Sarah, are you able to present? I am. Excellent. You begin when you're ready. Okay, so I'm Sarah Hilton. I am one of the recruiters for Southern Illinois Healthcare. Um, we are, you can do the next slide, please. Thanks. Um, so we are the largest healthcare employer in Southern Illinois and the second largest employer, period, in Southern Illinois. We're a not-for-profit healthcare system, so any profit that we do make goes back into providing care for the members of our community. Um, we are Memorial Hospital of Carbondale, Heron Hospital, and St. Joseph Memorial Hospital in Murfreesboro, and we have 35 locations under our SIH medical group, so physician offices that you might go to. Currently, we stand at over 4,000 employees, physicians, and volunteers, and we have several locations. If you've been in Southern Illinois, you've probably seen us along the road. Next slide. Um, currently, we have a variety of positions available, and you can go online to our website. It's sih.net slash careers, and you'll click apply online. Once you click apply online, you can hit the search button, and you can search for any type of position. We have open administrative, clinical, and technical positions, uh, management, and professional. We always have nursing open. We always have some office and clerical open. We have rehabilitation, so physical and occupational therapy, and service and skilled workers, so maintenance, food service, 
dietary, those types of positions. So we offer a bunch of jobs at SIH that don't require a degree. And then of course, there are some that do require a degree. Most times people think healthcare, I'm not a nurse, I can't work there. And that's not the case at all. I'm not a nurse and I work here. Um, I work in human resources and I have a master's degree in organizational development. So nothing to do clinical wise at all. Um, we have jobs without a degree for environmental services, so housekeeping, food services, patient care tech, so that's also called a CNA, our sitter pool, sterile processing tech, so cleaning of instruments after surgeries and prior to, um, service access reps, so patient intake, registration type positions, maintenance, central supply tech, phlebotomy is a big push right now. Um, you don't have to have any experience in phlebotomy will actually train you when you get here. Same thing for environmental ser services and food services as well. Um, and we always have nursing positions open. We have pharmacy positions. These are jobs that require a degree, so they'd be more specialized. Respiratory therapy is a big push right now as well. And we are hiring in our IT department for some analyst and engineer positions. So our featured jobs right now, food service host. So those are the ones who will be passing trays. Food service handlers. So those are more cooks in the back side of things. Housekeepers, we have a huge push for housekeepers as well. Service access reps, medical receptionists and medical coding. So those who have gone to school for your associates in medical coding. Um, we also always need patient care techs. CMAs, which are certified medical assistants, LPNs and RNs, surgical and OR techs, respiratory therapists, and phlebotomists. So we offer a host of benefits at SIH, including medical coverage that includes prescription insurance, dental insurance, vision insurance, and life insurance. That life insurance can be on yourself or also your dependents. We offer a savings plan, a 401k with an employer match. We match up to half of the first 5% that you're putting into your 401k. We also offer the Roth IRA option if you wanna participate in that as well, although SIH does not match on the Roth option. Earn time off, also known as paid time off. So this is your holidays, your sick time, um, vacation time. We offer service awards after five years of being with the company. We offer employee discounts and things like gym memberships, felt cell phone um, discounts, and many others. Every year you get a birthday gift from SIH, as well as a birthday card hand signed from our president and CEO and we offer free parking at all locations. So just some helpful information whenever you're filling out a job application at SIH. It's always awesome if you have your updated resume handy, so you can just plug and chug that information into your application. Make sure your methods of communication are up to date. It's really frustrating when we try and call and your number is no longer in service. I know that I speak for most employers when we get that option. Um, contact your references ahead of time and make sure that they're aware that you're applying for jobs and could be contacted to do a reference check. And fill out the entire application. Sometimes there's very important information on there that if you leave it blank, it can be considered falsification and keep you from getting a position. Double check that you've answered all questions truthfully. At SIH, after we offer you a job, you will have to participate in a pre-employment physical and a pre-employment drug screen, and everyone goes through a background check. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Sarah, for your presentation. Uh, up next, I believe we um, have Elaine on the call with Southern Illinois SSM Health. Uh, Elaine, are you able to present? It looks like you joined by phone. Just want to make sure uh, you'll have to press uh, star six to unmute.
And if you're speaking, Elaine, we cannot hear you. We have to press star six on the phone. So I think we'll circle back to uh, Elaine. So up next, we will have uh, Tabitha with Walgreens to present. Tabitha, are you uh, ready to present? Sure, you can hear me okay? I sure can. All right, so Mount Vernon Distribution Center. If you wanna go to the next slide, I'll give you some brief information. We are the largest distribution center for Walgreens in the nation. So it is a controlled environment. So we have heat and air conditioning. We service over 8,000 stores and we also have over 29,000 items in stock that get picked and sent out to the stores. We're also a distribution center that has central pick, which means we send items to other distribution centers as well as directly to stores. We have about 1,400 employees, and of those employees, we have maintenance, asset protection, managers, and then we also have several different pieces of equipment, and I won't go through all those. <laughs> if you want to go to the next slide, we'll look at a little bit of some of the points in the warehouse so that you can get a feel for it. Now, the main facility occupies about 80 acres, and the initial building was opened in 1990, the addition was completed in 1998, and then in 2009, we also started a new building adjacent to our main facility called CP Ops. There are 25 miles of conveyor belts and 90 doors that have 51 of those for shipping and 39 for receiving. And then if we go to the next slide, this is one of our departments called Split Case. So items are placed into those totes. They are pushed down the rollers. And then the middle is the conveyor belt that gets the totes to the shipping department. The next is where our full case pick is happened. So these employees will pick full boxes, put them on the conveyor belt. They get either sent to split case or to the shipping department. So every tag is put on a box that is put on the conveyor belt. And the next slide is for pictures of our shipping department. So this is when the totes and the boxes get loaded into the semi-trailers. The conveyor belts will end up here. The shippers are responsible for stacking the totes so that they don't fall, so that the drivers can safely take out the totes and deliver to the stores. And our open positions that we have right now include general warehouse employees, inbound outbound manager, a lean specialist, an HR specialist, and senior maintenance. And you can apply at jobs.walgreens.com for any of those positions. And then some of the benefits that we have, we have the employee assistance program, Park spot discounts, and then Walgreens discounts. So if you go to any Walgreens store, you can get 15% off on most products and then 25% off on company owned products like Nice. We also offer many medical plans and then dental, vision, prescription drug plans. There's also a personal accident insurance and the company offers $25,000 company paid life insurance you can choose to purchase an additional policy. We also pay for a short-term disability plan for every team member. And then on top of that, you can choose to purchase voluntary long-term disability. And then team members are able to do flexible spending accounts, profit sharing. We do have 401ks. And one thing I would like to mention is we do offer paid parental leave to employees that have been here six months. That is eight weeks of pay for every employee that has a child, adopts, and then paid time off, of course, holiday pay. And then we also have the Healthy Living Center next to our main facility. Employees are able to go 
they are included with their spouse and dependents, as long as the dependent is five years or older. You can be seen by a doctor, physical therapist, nurse practitioner, nurses, and then they have a full administrative staff. You can go for minor illnesses, injuries. You can have lab services, wellness care. We feel like it's a great benefit to our employees to have that there. And then that is all I have for today. All right, thank you very much, Tabitha, for your presentation. Wanted to circle back and see if uh, Elaine was able to um, unmute the audio. Elaine, are you able to present? That does not appear to be the case. So at this time, uh, we are going to uh, transition into the Q&A portion of the event. I do not see any questions in the chat, but uh, we'll start off um, our questions. Uh, we'll just go down uh, through the order here. So uh, one question that comes up a lot in the uh, virtual job fairs is about how long, and this will be, we'll start with uh, Julie with Eisen. Um, Julie, how long does it take for the hiring process typically take from submitting an application to being hired? Typically on average, it takes anywhere from five to seven business days from the point of submitting, interviewing, pre-screening. We also do on-site testing in what's called our dojo. It's a real-time training lab that tests fine motor skills and hand-eye coordination. And then we do also require a bit of pre-hire um, requirements as well, as far as a background screening, a drug test, and a physical. Excellent, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, and, and we're gonna have the same question for uh, Tamara with Concentrix. Um, would you be able to answer that question about how long from submitting an application to being hired, how long that might take? Absolutely. So it usually takes about 24 hours before you hear from us. And then it could take about two weeks, depending on how quickly you complete your assessments. So it's really kind of dependent on yourself and how quickly those are done and how quickly we have a hiring client come up. Thank you. Uh, we'll have that same question for Continental Tire. Jessica, are you able to answer that question? Sure. I would say from the point of application to an actual start date, when you start working on site, could be anywhere from two to six weeks, depending on how quickly um, you're able to come in for an on-site interview, a job offer, if you have to give notice at your job, things like that. Fantastic. And so we'll have that uh, same question for Nicole with higher level. Are you able to answer that question? Yes, um, it's really based on their work experience and what our clients are looking for. We have some that we can place automatically somewhere the next day and others could take three to four days to review their application or resume and make the decision if they want to interview. Thank you, Nicole. Uh, Megan with Priority Staffing Group. Are you able to answer that question? Sure, we are very similar. It depends on the client, um, but some jobs we can actually get someone in and working the next day and others, it just depends on how long it takes the client to do their interview process and let us know that they're interested and what kind of screening they require. Great. Uh, Sarah with Southern Illinois Healthcare. Yeah, I would say for the whole process, it is probably about a month from time of application to the time we receive uh, your background check, pre-employment physical and drug screen results. Sometimes we get it a little bit faster um, in about two weeks, but I would say on average, it's three to four. All right, thank you, Sarah. And Tabitha with Walgreens. Okay, I think it would take about a month. It could be shorter. Now it does, whenever they apply, we check those every day and then we would get in touch with them to set up an interview. Now, once the interview's completed, then we just need to wait for an open position to be able to call them. And then any two weeks notice would be given and we give orientations every Friday. So we try to 
make sure to work around those whenever we send out offers. Thank you, Tim. And so our next question for our employer presenters is, uh, are there any options for working remotely? Uh, we'll start, I think I know the answer to this based on the video, but we'll start with uh, Tamara with Concentrix. Uh, yes, obviously um, we have work at home positions, but we also have physical locations as well. Um, so when you go onto our website, which is careers.concentrics.com, you can select a physical location if you're near one. Um, I know Chicago has one, or there are also obviously remote positions available as well. Thank you. Jessica with Continental Tire. Um, that's going to be a very limited uh, option with us. Most of our positions are certainly required to be on site. We do have a few office positions where there are um, limited amounts of telecommuting days per month that are available. So that there is a little bit available, but primarily on site. Thank you. And Nicole with higher level. Uh, we only have one client in the Southern Illinois area that will do remote uh, work. And that is the, one of the call centers here. Everything else is in person. Thank you, Nicole. Uh, Megan with Priority Staffing. We have very limited opportunities to telecommute as well. Most of the positions require you to be on site. Thanks, Megan. And Sarah with Southern Illinois Healthcare. We also have limited positions that allow you to telecommute. Um, most of those positions are in health information. So those medical coders we talked about or the IT positions. Most of the IT positions are work from home based now. Although every now and then you do have to come on site. Thank you, Sarah. And Tabitha with Walgreens. The Walgreens Distribution Center has very few work from home but Walgreens does have a support service center that is work from home. So if you go to that jobs.walgreens.com, you could also view those. Thank you, Tabitha. And uh, Julie with Ison Manufacturing, are there any remote opportunities available? No, we do not have any remote opportunities available for what we're currently hiring. Some of the office positions, which we um, hire directly, can work remotely on occasion, but it's not something that we um, do regularly. Thank you, Julie. And so our next question will be, uh, how can a candidate stand out and get an interview, assuming that they are qualified? And for this question, we'll start with uh, Jessica from Continental Tire. Um. Really, the, the most important thing that we look for is um, consistent longevity and work history. So having a solid work history and really completing the application very thoroughly um, with attention to detail, punctuation, all of those kinds of things, those things really you know, stick out to us. But really, it's, it's just primarily, if you have a good solid work history, we're definitely going to be reaching out to you. Thank you, Jessica. And we'll have that same question for higher level and Nicole. Yes, longevity at jobs is the best uh, way to get noticed. Um, clients want to see people that are not job hoppers um, and a resume. A lot of places now are not just so much looking at the applications anymore, but they wanna see more details on the resume of what experience you have at each of those places. Thank you, Nicole. Uh, Megan with uh, Priority Staffing. So I agree with the last two that have mentioned longevity, um, but one thing that I typically like to recommend is that if you are applying for a specific job to make sure you're looking at that skill set that is required for the position and put it down as much experience on your application or, or your resume that is relevant to that skill set. Great, thank you, Megan. And Sarah with Southern Illinois Healthcare. Yeah, so for the applications that we get, um, we get so many in a day that, you know, I'm really looking for someone who has taken the time to cross all their T's, dot our, all their I's, you know, it is all done online. So there's mostly just clicking that you need to do. So make sure that you fill out that application in its entirety. 
and you know make sure that you are listing all of your previous work experience not just your most recent job because not only is that going to help us understand the skills that you have we look at that basing um you know, compensation based off of years of experience as well. So any relevant experience that you have definitely needs to be on that application. And it's even better if you go that extra step and attach your resume also. Thank you, Sarah. And Tabitha with Walgreens. We do look for the experience. So we don't like to see people that are job hopping. But we do like to see steady employment. So if they end a job, that we'd like to see them start a new one without having a big break in between. All right. Thank you, Tabitha. And Julie with Ison, how can a candidate stand out and get an interview assuming they are qualified? Just reiterating what um, has already previously been said, longevity is super important. Also, we are advanced manufacturing. So someone that already has a background in manufacturing and has an idea that it is hard physical work um, that we're looking for and being on your feet eight to 10 hours a day is super important. Those that are coming from an office type setting and thinking they're wanting to do manufacturing sometimes isn't always the best fit for us. Thank you, Julie. And Tamara with Concentrics. And yes, so we look for someone who has at least six months of solid customer service, a distraction-free environment, and open availability. And beyond that, it's just passing our initial assessments, which include a call center scenario-based questionnaire, um, meeting their PC speed requirements, and typing speeds. Great. Thank you, Tamara. And so our next question will be... Uh, how are you handling COVID safety precautions? And we're going to start with uh, this question with uh, Nicole and higher level. Uh, we are making sure that our candidates know what the requirements are for our clients when it comes to um, PPE and what is required for each location. Um, when they come into our office, they are required to wear a mask for the start of the process and then just keep it up with the PPE for the client's requirements. Thank you, Nicole. Uh, Megan with Priority Staffing. We do virtually the same thing that Higher Level does. Uh, we do make sure that we know what those safety requirements are for our clients. And we do require that they wear a mask whenever they are in our office for an interview. Thank you, Megan. Uh, Sarah with Southern Illinois Healthcare. So everyone that presents to an SIH facility gets screened as they enter. Um, so just doing like making sure you're wearing the mask, using the hand sanitizer and getting your temperature taken and then answering all of those COVID screening questions we're also familiar with at this time. If you're coming for an interview, we do um, be mindful of that six feet. So you may look a little awkward um, and you may be sitting a little bit further away from the interviewer than you're used to, but we are all masked up and being mindful of those CDC guidelines. And of course, if you're working, we are providing all relevant PPE to all employees. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, Tabitha with Walgreens. Okay. Every team member should do the self-assessment before entering the building. Face masks are required at all times. There is a temperature screening as soon as you come in to make sure that you don't have any type of fever. We do more cleaning. So high areas are sanitized four times per shift or eight times or more over a 24 hour period. Our break rooms have been broken up so there's not people sitting next to each other with plexiglass put up to separate so that you can have your mask off while you eat. We've also increased our number of break rooms by using some of our auditoriums so that we can help make this break room better suited to the distancing. And then we just try to make sure that everyone understands the importance of washing your hands, making sure to always wear that mask, and just to follow proper procedures. Thank you, Tabitha. Julie with Ison Manufacturing. 
So all all applicants, in addition to all of our employees, have through a checkpoint they have to go through. At that checkpoint, they have their temperature taken. They're asked all the necessary questions. They're given a mask, and then they're also given a sticker with the date showing that they've passed all of the precautionary tests for the day before they can enter any of the other buildings. Um, and besides that, we are doing mostly virtual face-to-face -face interviews to pre-screener applicants before we even consider bringing them on site. Thank you, Julie. Tamara with Concentrix. And yes, well, because our area of the business is work at home based, our work environment communications are entirely virtual, but we do send out regular communications on just how to be safe in general. Thank you. And Jessica with Continental Tire. Uh, so we are very similar to many of the other employers. Um, we are 100% masked, except for when you're eating or drinking. Our break room um, capacity has been limited, you know, with seating for social distancing. Um, sanitizing has been increased and, and all of those different things. Great. Thank you, Jessica. And so our next question will be, do you have any restrictions on tattoos, hair color, or piercings? And we'll start with a uh, priority staffing group in Megan. So that again is going to depend on the client and what their requirements are. I would say that any of those clients uh, that are hiring for some type of clerical position would likely have um, some kind of restriction on piercings and tattoos and things like that. Um, from my experience in the past, um, we have had some clients that have asked that you just cover up tattoos or um, remove piercings before you report to work. Thank you, Megan. And Southern Illinois Healthcare, Sarah, can you answer that question? We do allow visible tattoos, um, as long as it's nothing that's going to offend anybody. Um, we also allow piercings, uh, no facial piercings, but your ears can be pierced. They can even be gauged, but I believe it's no greater than a half an inch across. Um, and then as far as hair color, currently we do require that your hair is a color that would be a natural hair color. Um, so none of the blues, greens, you know, wild per se colors, um, we are still on the natural hair spectrum. Spectrum. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, Walgreens, Tabitha, can you answer that question? Yeah, tattoos are totally fine as long as they're not offensive. If they are offensive to people, then we would just ask that you cover them up. The piercings, as long as there's nothing dangling, because we can't have anything dangling whenever we're putting items on that conveyor belt. Hair colors, they can come in with any kind of hair color that they so want. Thank you, Tabitha. Uh, Julie with Ison. It depends on what area that they're looking to be employed in. On the manufacturing floor, there, um, there really are no re restrictions against tattoos or hair coloring or piercings as long as nothing's dangling or could potentially be a hazard. As far as back in the office, we do wanna maintain a business appropriate appearance. You can have visible tattoos, but it cannot be anything that could be taken to be offensive. Um, and, and then we, we don't have a restriction on um, hair color or facial piercings or things like that, but we just still wanna reiterate a business professional atmosphere. Thank you, Julie. And up next we have Tamara with Concentrix. So no, we don't have any restrictions. Some of our clients require webcam visibility during working hours and may have a dress code, but nothing specific to piercings, hair color, or tattoos, unless it's um, offensive in nature. Great, thank you. Uh, Jessica with Continental Tire. We are the same as, as the others. Uh, no restrictions on tattoos, hair color, or piercing, as long as, again, it's not offensive and, and doesn't pose a safety hazard. Great, and Nicole with higher level. 
That is based on the type of position that you are looking for. If you're looking for an office uh, position, I would suggest not having the bright colored hair, uh, visible tattoos um, are okay, just depending on what they are and not offensive. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, thank you, Nicole. And our next question, uh, we're gonna start with Sarah in Southern Illinois Healthcare. Do you provide workplace accommodations for people with disabilities? Yes, we do. We follow all um, national guidelines, all legal guidelines um, for those with disabilities. Great, thank you, Sarah. And Tabitha with Walgreens? Absolutely. We pride ourselves in being a diverse workforce. We even have a traditional work group program that we started and we partner with Coleman Tri-County. It's a 13 week training program and its purpose is to help level the playing field for anyone that might have a disability. It has on the job training in place of an interview. And we have found that this has helped out a lot of employees. And Julie with, Manu with Ice and Manufacturing. We do, um, we, we adhere to all the federal guidelines and do welcome a diverse workforce. And Tamara with Concentrics. Yes, we follow national and legal guidelines and we provide positions with many different abilities. Being work at home, many of our applicants do actually have special abilities and we uh, take pride on that. Great, thank you. And Jessica with Continental Tire. Uh, same as the others, we definitely adhere to all of the guidelines and, and recommendations and definitely welcome everyone to apply. Excellent. And Nicole with Higher Level. Yes, we pride ourselves on being a diversity and inclusion workplace. Great. And Sarah with Southern, or sorry, uh, Megan with priority staffing. We do the same as everyone else. Um, we do engage in the interactive process if someone does come in and present with some type of disability or need accommodations. Excellent. Thank you. Our next question here, uh, this will be for, we'll start off with Tabitha for Walgreens. How often are new jobs posted? They, we've had a hiring freeze due to COVID. However, right now we have posted quite a few. We have staffing meetings every week. So by mid week on Wednesday or Thursday, we usually have positions that are opening that we start calling people that have interviewed. Great, thank you. Uh, Julie with Ison. We post ours daily as soon as they become available. Um, we use a service where it goes to several job boards, including Indeed, Glassdoor, um, and it also goes automatically to our ICE and Illinois website. Great, thank you. Uh, Tamara with Concentrics, how often are new jobs posted? Well, because we have so many clients, we actually have a continuous offering of positions. Um, so there's really no specific time that we're not hiring. Great. Uh, Continental Tire, Jessica. But we also have pretty continuous hourly production positions available. Our salary positions are all, all posted as soon as they become available. Um, I will say if you're applying online for the hourly production position, we post a new requisition each quarter. So if you have already applied for the quarter, um, you don't need to apply until the next quarter when the new position becomes available to apply to. Great, thank you. And Nicole with higher level. Our positions change daily. We are a nationwide company. We hire for almost all 50 states. So we're constantly changing, constantly updating our website and everything is fresh and available on our website. Great, thank you. And Megan with Priority Staffing. We are similar in that um, if we get a new position that opens, we typically post it within that day. Um, we post positions on our internal website and we push those out 
to other places um, like Facebook and several other job boards um, like Indeed. Great, thank you, Megan. And Sarah with Southern Illinois Healthcare. We post new jobs multiple times a day, Monday through Friday. Great, thank you, Sarah. So our next question uh, for our employers will be, uh, can you describe the work attire? And we'll start off uh, back at the top with Julie and Ice and Manufacturing. It depends on what department you're hired in. If you're hired in electronics, um, they have to wear jeans, still toed shoes. They can wear a t-shirt, but we also give them a smock. Hair has to be kept up in a hairnet or a hat. Uh, office setting, once again, is going to be business professional. If you go into the light metals plant, some of those areas require different types of PPE that would also be required, but for just manufacturing as a whole, um, still toed shoes, um, pants, definitely no shorts, and then a shirt. Thank you. And uh, Tamara with Concentrics. So because we are a work at home environment, most of our clients are off camera. So there's no real dress code. You can be in your pajamas if you like. But we do have a few clients that are on camera. So they ask for business casual from the waist up. Some of them um, I've even heard require a white dress shirt um, in, in one of our clients. So it would just be dependent on the client. Great. Thank you. And Jessica with Continental Tire. Um, so it's also dependent on your area that you're working in. If you're in a, one of the professional positions and it's going to be more of a business casual um, type of attire, if you're out in production, um, it can be jeans, shorts, you know, whatever is comfortable in your area. Some areas are hotter than others, um, but definitely, you know, tops and bottoms <laughs> all the time and um, steel toe shoes anytime you are out in the plant. Thank you, Jessica. Uh, Nicole with higher level. Um, it depends on the position. If it's in an office, it's usually business casual, uh, general labor, warehouse, and manufacturing, jeans, uh, t-shirt, and still toe boots and shoes. Great. And Megan with priority staffing. Again, it also depends upon the position and the client. So I would say that most of our clerical positions would either be business casual or um, professional attire. And if it is a manufacturing or industrial type position, that also is going to depend on the PPE that they require at the client's um, place of work and um, obviously the, the heat requirements and things like that. So it just depends on the client really. Megan and Sarah with Southern Illinois Healthcare. Most of our clinical areas require that you wear scrubs. Some departments have their own color scheme that they stick to. For instance, mother baby is usually pink and blue scrubs for obvious reasons. Um, and then if you're in an office setting, uh, everything is business casual. Thank you. And Tabitha with Walgreens. Okay. The office positions are usually business casual. When you're in the warehouse, we'll accept you can wear jeans, you can wear shorts as long as they're not short shorts, leggings as long as you wear a shirt that can cover your bottom, and just t-shirts that's not overly large to get caught in any of the machines. Thank you, Tabitha. And I believe this will be our last question for the employers. And we'll start with uh, Tamara and Concentrics. Uh, what are the opportunities for advancement and do you have any success stories? Oh, I don't know if I have any specific success stories, but Concentrics loves to hire within. So um, I would say the last I heard were about 75 to 80% um, are internal hires. And like I said, we'd love to hire within and promote. Um, a lot of our agents that come through are promoted to QAs, team leads, management, uh, payroll, that kind of thing. So there, it really is just endless. Great, thank you, Tamara. And Jessica with Continental Tire. We have a lot of advancement opportunities and um, paths for you to get there. If, if you're somebody that's looking to be in supervision, we have specific um, 
supervisory leadership challenge courses that we put you through and, and help you promote into those roles um, with our continuing education that helps you move up into other roles. And I'd say probably our um, most uh, high profile success story is our plant manager, Nick Pierce, um, started years ago as an hourly maintenance technician and um, through the years worked his way up, uh, traveled around the world through different positions and came back to Mount Vernon as our uh, leader here as our plant manager. Fantastic. Uh, Nicole with higher level. Some um, temporary employees that have gone temp to hire with some of our clients that have moved up to team leads and supervisors and managers. So there's always that potential for growth as long as you're willing to put the time and the effort in to get there. Thank you. Megan with uh, Priority Staffing Group. I hate to sound like a broken record, but again, that often depends on who the client is. Um, we do see a lot of people get hired on permanently with the company that we place them with. And some of our success stories include uh, employees who were placed in a temporary position, hired on permanently, and now they're the ones that are contacting us to fill the jobs that they were hired for at one time. Oh, wow, that's great. Sarah with Southern Illinois Healthcare. Yeah, so of course we love to promote within at SIH um, and, you know, we do have a really great success story going all the way back to our high school summer internship program, had a lady participate, well, a girl at the time participate in that. Uh, once she graduated high school, she got her CNA and started working at SIH, um, continued to use our scholarship and loan forgiveness opportunities, and now she's working as a nurse practitioner at Heron Hospital. Oh, fantastic. Tabitha with Walgreens, are there any opportunities for advancement, any success stories? Absolutely. We always try to promote from within the distribution center as much as possible. So our general warehouse employees, we encourage them to apply for any distribution center supervisor positions that come open. We have had several that have done so. And then whenever they're at that level, they can always move up to the inbound outbound management position and we try to encourage their learning and so they can have a smooth transition. We do have two HR generalists that were promoted from being specialists. So just in our office, we've had those success stories. Great, thank you, Tabitha. And finally, uh, Julie with Ice and Manufacturing. It uh, looks like we may have lost Julie for that question, but uh, that will conclude the uh, Q&A portion of this morning's event. So I want to thank all of our employer presenters for uh, answering those questions and sharing their uh, opportunities. Uh, what I want to do now is uh, provide an overview of some of the resources that are available uh, with Illinois from uh, the illinois.gov slash get hired site. Uh, and this Get Hired Illinois website is a portal that's been designed to connect workers with available job and career training opportunities across the state of Illinois. And going through some of the resources that are on this page here, if you click the job seekers click here, that'll take you to the Illinois job link page. And this is a landing page where job seekers can search for postings that are available in Illinois. Uh, if job seekers click the virtual job fairs here, that'll take them to the landing page on Illinois WorkNet of the virtual job fair where they can search for employers who are hiring as well as upcoming virtual job fair events by clicking this calendar here. Uh, additionally, another resource uh, that we link to on Illinois WorkNet is this online training opportunities button. And if you click that, that'll take you to uh, this quick start guide page where you can see the training options that are available to you from community colleges to WIO approved training programs, other public and private programs and apprenticeship opportunities. And additionally, uh, below these uh, buttons on get hired site, 
you can, uh, job seekers, if need be, can apply for unemployment insurance and access additional resources through this page. And all the resources uh, that I've just gone over are free to use for job seekers and will remain accessible through this Get Hired Illinois page. And you can get to that website by entering www.illinois.gov slash get hired. And I also wanted to uh, have a reminder that today's session is being recorded and will be available on the employer booth pages in our virtual job fair area on Illinois WorkNet for each of the employers who presented today. And to uh, wrap up again, I wanna thank all of our employer presenters and our team that helped uh, coordinate this event, uh, MantraCon and IDES. Thank you very much for your uh, participation in coordinating this event and hope we will do many more events again soon in the future. So uh, again, I wanna thank everybody for uh, your time and effort and your presentations. And with that, we will go ahead and close out. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a great day.